What's up folks? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be doing some uh, Tana River, uh, just jumping spots, doing multi-species for whatever we can get. Probably going to catch some pike and some burbot and maybe some grayling, but definitely pike and burbot are priority because I want to catch some pike and burbot. Um, that includes spots on the actual Tana, um, like back eddies on the Tana, uh, sloughs on the Tana, like runoff ponds, whatever. Uh, whatever has fish that's connected to the Tana, except for like major tributaries, of course. Runoff fish. Um, and so we're just doing like mainly roadside fishing. Uh, we're on our way from Fairbanks back to uh, back to Delta right now. So whatever we get when we get on the way of the Richardson Highway um, is what's going to be in this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below for all for the algorithm to recommend this channel to more people. And we'll see you on the water. Start here at the creek head or the whatever. Some current just to aerate the water. Bugs are bad down here, dude. It's really rocky here. First dangle of the day. Almost backlashed, whatever. Oh my god, dude, really? Oh yeah, this looks juicy. No, if you don't think this is juicy, you tweaking. It's deep. That's the Tannenau right there, I think. I'm gonna bomb this right down the center. Oh, that is not centered at all. Where are the fish at? That's the Tanana right there. They sometimes chill. Oh, what is that? Is that a fish? That's a fish. Yeah, that's a fish, dude. They're grayling, dude. Oh. Those are big ass grayling, though. Holy cow, dude. Dude, those are big grayling. Damn. Dude, those are huge.
that would have been annoying if I caught a fish. I've I've had two bites so far in this one location. One just happened like just now. I don't think I hooked him. Oh my gosh, no. Stop. There's a grayling there. Had a grayling, dude. Dude, these mosquitoes need to go away. Got him. Got him. He's on. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. I'll you. You're mine. Yes, sir. Hey. Oh. Yes, sir. First fish of the day. Hopefully first of many. Mosquitoes go away. I'm showing off a fish. Heck yeah. Nice. This is, for you guys, those that don't know, are grayling. Pretty common fish. Very, very pretty. Ooh! Very, oh my gosh, please. Please. Please, 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 please. Very pretty fish. He does not want to stick, stick around. See you later. One more cast. Actually, no, that was not good. It's gonna be more than one cast, I guess, because that was a terrible cast. cast you right there perfect now we just got him there he is there he is that's a better one that's a better one that's a better one hey out those sticks get out those sticks there we go there we go he's barely hooked he's barely hooked he's okay good we're recording that scared me there we go there we go. Get in here. Get in here. That's a big one we found earlier. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a better one. That's a good 16, 17 incher. Heck yeah, look at the blue on them. Yes, sir. Loaded with graylings. Tiny little creek. Loaded with these low grayling. This is a better one. All right, buddy. See you later. Heck yeah, dude. How are you? Into the water we go once more. Next spot. Second spot, a random pond next to the Tanana. The Tanana is actually like right over there. No, for a fact, there's pike in here. If there's no pike in here, hell will freeze over and I'll get struck by lightning. Pike in here aren't giant though, so I think I'm gonna throw. What do I want to throw? Is this heavy enough to throw? I'm going to throw the good old crankbait. Slow roll this. Probably should be able to roll, run my spinner through. We have made it to some really chill fishing. We're here on the actual tan uh, 
fishing for burbot. This is a very calm area that's known to catch a lot of burbot. So hopefully we catch some. Gonna be using octopus for bait. See what happens. Turn the cast control way up. I don't want to backlash this. I don't know if that was ice or not, but my stuff was like out there and now it's like right there. It can't be current. This is like a four ounce weight. Oh. Nope. Nothing. Checking my bait every hour or so. Yep, bait's still on. Dude, how the hell did this guy get all the way over there? I don't know if y'all can see that. But there's a dude, like, across the river somehow. Boy, what the hell? What the hell is going on in Delta, bruh? I left and he's on there. He is on there. He's on there. Got him. Got him. Got him. There he is. Yes, sir. Burbot. No way. Let's go. Yo. Yes, sir. We got ourselves. Very first bourbon of the season. Let's go right down the gullet. Oh wow. That's in there deep. Ow, 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 ow. Ow! Let's go. Well, I'm gonna have to keep this guy, but he just, as I was trying to get the hook out, he just threw up some of these natural slimy sculpin. Whoa, dude, that is so cool. He's gonna die, but a good table fare, so I'm trying to get the hook out of his mouth, but it's not proving to be easy. All right, guys, so this is a burbot. Um, these are the only freshwater cod in America even though they like, kind of look like an eel um, the main sustenance is uh, basically just whatever they can find they're scavengers but they're also predators um, as you can see here by those slimy sculpin they are indeed predators That's a wrap. Um, we fished three different spots. One produced some grayling. One produced, should have produced some pike, but didn't. I don't know what was going on there. I've caught like a lot of pike out of there before, but I guess it's just uh, it's different every year. Um, and then we tried the, site, or the third and last spot and we caught a burbot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again, Please like, subscribe, and get notified, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.